hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are opening my july boxycharm and we're doing it outdoors i just didn't feel like being indoors today and it's so nice outside but at the same time it's a busy day for me and so i thought i'd just do a straight up unboxing minus the two hour preparation to get ready to film so i think that works for everybody So yeah, this is the July 2020 BoxyCharm. And so I'm super, super excited to show you guys what I got. And here it is. Let's start with the card. Look how pretty this is. It says sunshine, BoxyCharm, just reminds me of the beach, actually the pool. Man, I miss going to the pool for my kids' swim team. And this is the card. I have variation eight. Sorry if you hear the cars outdoors because we're in my backyard. Right away, yesterday when I opened this box, I saw the yellow and I was so excited. I knew it was gonna be the Brazilian shampoo by Sol de Janeiro. You guys know about the Boom Boom Cream and a lot of people love that cream. I love their shower gel though. When I saw that I got the shampoo and the matching conditioner, I was so, so excited. Don't mind my nails. Ugh. I was hoping to do this with just one hand, but uh, it's kind of tough. I actually got this chip by opening the box. Actually, one of my other boxes that arrived in the mail yesterday, so I was like, ah, but that's okay. So we got the shampoo and conditioner and each of them is about three ounces. I told myself that if I got this and my choice item, I was set with the box. As you guys know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. It's a makeup subscription box. They are $25 a month and you get over $100 worth of products. And there's been a time where I got $200 worth of products. So it's definitely worth your money but it just all depends what you get in the box. And you really have to be a makeup lover to appreciate this. Not just makeup, but skincare. And you have the option to customize whether you want more skincare versus makeup. The Sol de Janeiro shampoo and conditioner is $24. Okay, next one is the 111 Skin NACY2 Pollution Defense Booster. So I love anything that's anti-pollution. It's a daytime booster to fortify your skin against harmful aggressors of the digital age. Oh, so I think this one protects your skin from blue light, which, duh, I totally need this. You know, being that I do YouTube a lot, I'm always online, I'm always on in front of the screen. So this is great to have. Um, oh, it looks sticky. I read that you could mix this with your moisturizer, so it feels like a serum. Like a, There's like a thick veil on my skin right now. It's not fully absorbing into the skin. Now it's drying down. It's a little sticky, a little tacky. This 111 skin, guys, is $135. I knew this was gonna be an expensive product. I received their mask from my FabFitFun box before, and although they were super amazing, I mean luxurious to put on the face, they were like 30 bucks a piece. The next one that I see is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. Hourglass is an expensive brand. It's an amazing brand, actually. Actually, I've known them for their very thin eyeliner pencil. I don't think I've tried anything from Hourglass other than that eyeliner. So let's open it up. And the color that I got is the color Aura. And it's a single eyeshadow, like in a pot. Ooh, this color looks really pretty. Really pretty, okay. Super creamy. Oh, I take that back. It's super dry, what? Okay, let's try it again. It 
it's super ashy and dry. I was expecting it to be very blingy. This will probably work better with some kind of Fix Plus or spray and just wet the eyeshadow a bit. Okay, I was a little underwhelmed with that eyeshadow. The Hourglass Glitter Eyeshadow is $29. What? $29, that's way too expensive. I wouldn't pay for a single eyeshadow for $29, come on. I mean, even Pat McGrath eyeshadows are like $10 to $12 a piece. This one I was very excited that I got. This is the Ace Butte Bronzed in Paradise Bronzer Palette. Look at this, it's so pretty. I didn't want to keep it, but here I go again, wanting to keep this. I really, really do want to keep it. Only because I've never tried this brand before. And I love bronzers. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm gonna keep this. The Ace Butte Bronze in Paradise palette is $30. You get nice big pan size. So let's go ahead and swatch. It feels creamy. The first two are better for lighter skin. I love these um, bronzer shades because I can get a lot of use out of them. I don't have to use them just for bronzer, but they're great crease shades. The last item in the box, I'm not gonna keep because I don't really use eyeliner as much. Um, this is by Douche. Douche, that's an interesting name. Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. It's a deeply pigmented, waterproof graphic eyeliner that is easy and effortless to apply. Very nice, fine tip. I like to work with these kind of felt tips. So I'm going to save this for a giveaway, guys, because I am getting close to 500 subscribers. And so I am going to keep this and throw it in a giveaway. I'm definitely very excited. I'm like slowly collecting little items here and there that i am going to put in a big giveaway once i reach 500 subscribers so cannot wait i'm going to save this for someone else who's really going to appreciate it since i don't really wear eyeliners too much so that is everything that i got the douche graphic pen is 21 dollars. i will put the total of the entire box here on the screen once i calculate it 111 skin alone is already worth way more than the amount that i paid for the box which was only 25 dollars. wow definitely happy with what i got i think the product that i'm least excited about is the hourglass which is something that i was so excited to try yesterday but i waited till i filmed it today i can't wait to try the shampoo and the conditioner from zol de janeiro actually i'm so excited for the bronzer the shampoo and the the serum if you end up liking three out of the five products in your box i think it's just a win-win situation for me personally that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews so i hope you guys stick around there's always something to learn here on my channel oh my gosh there's so many cars driving around my neighborhood <laughs> It's time for me to go. I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye!